Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday, Thursday morning, 8.33 a.m. California time, November 14, 2024 is the date here. Uh, latest activity looks like a 0 0.7, 0 0.7 across California. Also some movement out on the big island of Hawaii, right around the uh, eastern side here of Kilauea Volcano. Now this earthquake activity is uh, fairly deep about 17 miles or so underneath this area. A little bit of shallow adjustment stretching down here towards the Middle East Rift Zone. Uh, with that uh, being said, let's go check out the Hawaii activity, see if there's anything changing out there. Of course, a lot of deep activity normally is a sign there of uh, potentially some further escalation across the volcanoes due to the, uh, well, the magma uh, plumbing system and whatnot below. So right now, Kilauea Volcano is still sitting at a yellow and advisory. The deformation data, I don't know if they've fixed this yet or not. It's the same thing. Every day, uh, you get this little periodic uptick. These, uh, these amplitude levels right here tells me that it's offline still. No measurements coming in, and it's been that way for over, uh, over a month or so. And if we were to go back further behind that, the month period, we would see when it went offline. It was about the... Uh, Oh, the 12th of October or so. So they have still not got uh, this station set up uh, and tuned right. It's offline. As uh, far as earthquake activity goes, we can check the seismograph station. There is that uh, three-pointer that was coming in here within the last half hour or so. Uh, so right now, not a whole lot of uh, major change going on. But, man, I would sure like to see that uh, station up there at the summit area fixed. Uh, it's been it's been working for a little while, but uh, went down about a month, about five weeks or so ago, and uh, nobody has worked on it. They just they put it up online, but there's no data coming in. It it's not reading. All right, so let's check out uh, the rest of the area. California overnight. Well, yesterday a little bit more overnight today, or uh, this morning I should say. I've been up all night pretty much here. Got uh, uh, Missy Mimi's has a little uh, doctor's appointment early in the morning super early. I was talking about three or four o'clock in the morning. So we've been up for a little while. Um, California here has seen a, a little bit of uptick here in the last 24 hours, including uh, a 3.1, the more recent quake here outside of Stratford, California. That's in the uh, southern end of the San Joaquin Valley, a little odd area to see some earthquake activity. Uh, it's out there outside of uh, the West Lake Farms region, not for sure if they got any pumping systems out there or not in terms of uh, uh, fracking, but I, I don't see anything specifically. It looks like it's just underneath this, uh, this little area. Now, see if it's been reviewed. It's still underneath an automatic status, so this may get revised. Uh, it could get dropped completely. Who knows? It looks like only one person reported that, or maybe two people out there around the Hanford area. Uh, so who knows? We'll have to uh, see if they get the uh, measurements and whatnot and correct uh, anything that may be off in the automatic preliminary data coming in there for, for that earthquake. Uh, prior to that, some movement stirring up in Nevada with a 4.3. Overall, seismic activity has been on the increase here, roughly around the southern edge of the Sierra Nevada mountains. And if we pull up the microquake level here, Ridgecrest region, uh, Las Vegas getting some further smaller quake activity. Uh, a couple small quakes here along the San Andreas Fault, the southern segment. Nothing big for now. Uh, and the Malibu Coast Fault here seeing a couple smaller earthquakes. So we're starting to see a notable uptick here. Uh, whether that's going to continue throughout the day today, we'll, we'll just have to watch and see. Uh, there's some movement down there across the Imperial Fault as well. Mostly microquakes, but hey. Uh, every single quake out here is an earthquake, regardless on if it's a 2.4 or a 2.5. It's just a threshold reached here uh, for that level. Look at that cluster going on right about here in this area around the Ridgecrest. Uh, so we'll continue to watch the Southern California area. Northern California has been awfully quiet here. Pacific Northwest as well. Uh, let's check out the trimmer map here from last night and see what's going on. Uh, for the Cascadia Trimmer, which is about 237 epicenters of Trimmer down at the southern end of the Cascadia. Um, no earthquake activity, but we'll watch for that. If I can keep my voice here, goodness. 
Uh, further out and about here across the area, looks like Yellowstone seen a handful of smaller quakes, very small microquakes. Let's see uh, what we have here for the latest data from Yellowstone, that is, if see if they're working or not. We're online. Uh, maybe they're offline. I don't see anything coming in here. All right, so... We'll have to check back on that. Looks like they may be offline. Uh, a little bit of movement out in the oil fields of Texas and Oklahoma, and specifically here outside of San Antonio to the south near Pleasanton. Quite a few oil fields out here. Oil fields galore. Um, quite a few ones and twos stirring up out here in the last 24 hours, and more notably today, uh, this morning so far. Quite a few... Uh, these little checkered boxes here indicating some oil fields there may be in fact some newer ones out there uh, since this image satellite image was taken uh, but they're uh, all over the place look down here to the south all these little checkered boxes are not homes they're not little camping sites out there in the beautiful texas area these are uh, oil and fracking operations and i'm sure there's some wastewater disposal ponds as well all over the place goodness all right so let's back out of there Anything going on across the rest of the country? Pretty quiet across the New Madrid zone. Eastern portion of the country, quiet as well. Puerto Rico, uh, a lot of this movement here from yesterday. We only see, uh, let's see, we had a, a 2.0 and a 2.6 so far today. Aside from that, uh, fairly quiet across that area. Uh, out and about here across the global view. A lot of older movement quakes there across New Zealand. And uh, getting a handful of earthquakes here across the Philippines area southward. Java Trench showing quite a bit of activity here today. Some fours and threes. <coughs> Goodness, excuse me. I am still just, I cannot kick this, folks. I don't know if anybody else has been experiencing this, but uh, just a consistent cough and uh, occasional sneeze or two. Goodness. Um... And I've been doubling up here on vitamin C. Deep activity once again across this area. Look at that. Deep earthquakes underneath Japan. Right around the Banda Sea. Some super deep earthquake activity. And some older deep activity around the Tonga Trench. Got uh, quite a bit out there in a triangle fashion. So we'll definitely have to watch this area in between all these deep quakes. Looking at Papua New Guinea area. Eastward along this plate boundary could see some uh, larger scale adjustment. A little bit of movement out in Afghanistan, 2.5 out around the Turkey area, it looks like right now. Minimal adjustment across the Mediterranean. And uh, the Atlantic Ocean up here looking a little bit more active in the last 24 hours here. Some movement south of Iceland, um, a little bit further down here across the area as well. South America, a lot of older quake activity from yesterday, nothing major going on there. Uh, some older movement there from yesterday as well in the Middle America Trench. Although it looks like, uh, let's see, when was this earthquake here? About 1 o'clock this morning. Right into the northern edge, it looks like, of the Middle America Trench. Nine miles deep here underneath the, uh, the area. Just offshore, but underneath this area. So we'll kind of keep an eye on things here today, folks. See how this Thursday plays out. What do we have out here in the last 30 days for largest activity? Let's see what we got here. 6.8 Cuba. Remember that quake? Uh, 6.2 back earlier this month in, in uh, the Chile area. Curl Kamchatka Trench. And then that six pointer out in the uh, ocean there off the Oregon coastline. No seven pointers, no eight pointers yet. Uh, we should be getting close, though, to seeing an eight pointer. Our last one was back in 2021, and we're, and we're supposed to have an eight-pointer every year on average, if not every year, every other year. And, uh, well, here we are, 2024, almost 2025, without an eight-pointer. It's coming. The question is where? Take your pick. It could be anywhere out here. Space weather movement, uh, well, a little bit of unexpected auroras here. For the folks opposite North American side here, where folks are sleeping across Europe and uh, Asia, Russia area, 
that uh goodness kind of came up out of the blue Let's see what's going on it looks like the bz component there of the uh imf is pointing south uh, enhanced geomagnetic activity is likely with a chance for minor G1 geomagnetic storming at higher latitudes. So that's what we're seeing there. Just general solar wind stream flowing in due to that uh, BZ component there with the southward uh, pointing position. Uh, that wasn't forecasted, but hey, sometimes uh, we get these out of the blue. Not the result of any CMEs, but the, just the general solar wind. As you can see here, the uh, X flare chart has dropped. M flare as well, 60% chance for M flare, C flare at 99, X flare at 20, but I don't think we're going to see anything in the X flare category. These sunspots here have taken a, a nosedive in terms of complexity, uh, especially this area right here. This was a promising looking sunspot as it came around the southeastern limb here days ago. Uh, now it's very disorganized and uh, just going to be drifting off here to the western limb. Uh, about as quiet as can be. Might produce a little sea flare activity, but uh, aside from that, pretty quiet. Uh, there's not a whole lot else out here, folks, as you look across the eastern limb of the sun. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the far side of the sun, see what's going on. Um, there's that little sunspot right there that I just showed you guys. But after that, uh, it's pretty quiet and clear until we get this group of sunspots coming back around the bend here in a couple days or so. Uh, this sunspot group was out here uh, about a week or so ago. Uh, looks like they are holding together somewhat. Nothing massive, but uh, we'll see what these uh, sunspots want to do once they come back around the eastern limb. It's kind of hard to tell how complex these sunspots are just looking at this image, but this gives us a little glimpse here of the far side of the sun and uh, maybe what uh, is happening out there. So we, we got a little, little bit of quietness coming up right now. Aside from this uh, solar wind stream creating the enhanced conditions right now, uh, no major roars in the forecast. Storm Prediction Center for severe weather. Well, uh, a little bit of thunderstorm activity out here across Northern California in my neck of the woods. It is foggy out here. In fact, when I was taking Missy Mimi's there to her doctor appointment this morning, uh, I couldn't even see 100 feet in front of me. Super dense fog out here. Uh, it's still actually quite foggy here at uh, 845 in the morning. We are expecting some rain showers to pop up here, uh, including some thunderstorms out here. Nothing severe, but uh, I'll watch for that a little bit later. Marginal risk for some severe weather across the extreme eastern seaboard over there for tornado activity. Maybe a little bit of wind threat in there as well, but you can see there in that 2% zone, maybe some spinning water vapor out there today around the North Carolina area in these specific locations. As uh, far as hurricane activity goes, let's go ahead and watch down here in the Gulf of Mexico. Our latest model run here shows that hurricane, tropical system, wow, a whole different story compared to what it looked like a couple days ago. Remember the models were showing a forecasted hit on Florida as a major hurricane uh, in that area around this time period, but it looks like it's shredded. Uh, the reason for this is it's going over the Yucatan, Mexico area, losing its steam, and then getting pulled up here by this low-pressure system, uh, bringing with it some rainfall across Florida, but uh, no specific large hurricane. Uh, thank goodness, right? Those folks need a break out there. Uh, looks like California is going to get on in on the rain uh, some more. We definitely need it. I don't like the fog. I mean, I like the fog if I don't have to drive in it. It's beautiful, actually. Uh, out here in the field but uh driving in it goodness it's nerve-wracking uh, so more rain coming up it looks like as we uh get closer to the end of november uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, total accumulated precipitation runs out here of course florida is going to have a, a dandy of some moisture coming in from that tropical disturbance but nothing like what it could have been um, aside from that some more uh, moisture across the southern plains area texas as well uh, some much needed rain up here across the northeast, although it's not really going to be a, a drought buster. These guys still need a lot more rain up here to get out of the drought and dry conditions across the northeast. Uh, Pacific Northwest is always getting hammered with consistent moisture. Some of that sipping down, slipping down here into the California area, but uh, I'd like to see some of that 
a little bit lower here. Uh, the blue where I live is only about maybe uh, three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch of rain, but that's for the total t total runs here. That's a little that's a little skimpy. We need more than that. All right, folks. Um, I am out of here. One earthquake outside of San Diego, 1.2. One of the latest quakes here on the map. Keep an eye on things here and uh, see what happens. Enjoy your Thursday. Take care and stay safe out there.